Hello, I'm Zach at the BC Wildlife Park, and this is Lila, one of our Western Painted Turtles. So, how does this species survive the winter? So, they're actually ectothermic, meaning that they don't produce their own body heat and they rely on the environment to do so. And so, the adults, what they'll do is they'll overwinter uh, aquatically, and so they'll swim down to the bottom of shallow lakes, ponds, or streams, and go into the mud and breathe through their butt. Well, not really, it's actually called cloaco respiration. Keep in mind, however, the water could be two degrees Celsius and could have half a meter of ice on top, so oxygen levels may be low. In this case, they would resort to anaerobic respiration. The trade-off is lactic acid can be produced, but the species luckily is quite resistant to lactic acid poisoning. And for the hatchlings, they overwinter terrestrially, and so they'll stay in their nest until the following spring, and they can withstand temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. They do this by supercooling, Essentially, they're freeze tolerant and they will freeze.